Hi guys, welcome to Linksa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's new in this video? In this video I will tell you about how to embed it Grafana dashboard into web application. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we need to understand few points which is why we need to be embedded Grafana dashboard into web application. Grafana is multi-platform open source analytic and interactive visualization web application. It provides charts, graphs, and alerts for the web when connected to the supported data sources. So it is no surprise we get a lot of questions from a community about how to embed them into their web application. So basically it gives us ability to add dynamic visualization with comfort. With embedded Grafana dashboard into web application, you can view the Grafana dashboard in your application without the need of switch between system or login on to Grafana. So let's begin the lab session and we'll see how we can embed it Grafana dashboard into the web application. So currently you can see I have a two virtual machine on my virtualized environment. This is RHL line server and this is CentOS 7, right? And currently I'm logging in my first machine. Let me show you the OS release version of this machine first, protect the passwords 9.2. And let me check the IP address of this machine is 192.168.40.128. Let me check the internet connectivity. Yeah, it is there. Perfect. And uh, in this VM, I have already installed Grafana and Prometheus data source. So let me check uh, the status of the services. System CTL status Prometheus as well as Grafana. Okay, so now you can see Pr uh, Prometheus is active and running as well as if I go with Grafana is active and running. Perfect. So both services are up and running condition. So start with the first tab, which is log into the Grafana console and add Prometheus as a data source. So let me on my web browser and let me log into 192.168 on port number 3000, right? Grafana number 3000. I'll get the username and give the password. I'm logging successfully. So let's add the data source first. So click on the data source, select Prometheus and give the URL because I have configured the Prometheus on local machine so I'll go with the local host but if you have a separate machine you need to give the IP address over there right and Prometheus by default configure on 9090 port so rest of the things I'll go with the same I just save and test successfully perfect so if I click back on data source here it is configured successfully and this is by default now let me add a simple dashboard from import dashboard right so I'll go back on can home dashboard and here I can I you can customize your own for with that visualization or you can import it from here so I click on the import dashboard and I need to give the uh, ID uh, from uh, if you don't know if you don't know how to get the dashboard ID you can take the example from grafana.com slash dashboard I'll go with the standard one which is 8060 in my case this is for node exporter let it be load scroll down select the data source in my case that is prometheus and i said import perfect so uh, here you can see the complete visualization of my target host which is my second machine which is the ip address of 192.168.40.134 and this is my second machine right so let me show you this ip address let's confirm first i'll go back on my centos let me log in run the config you can see the IP address is 40.134 so if I go back here it is 40.134 right so let me save this dashboard with the updated date and time range so I'll click uh, show me last 15 minute and refresh second I'll go with the 5 second and let it be saved first so click on the save dashboard and just give the name I'll go with the default one click on the save done so now if I go back on the dashboard, here you will say the node exporter full and if I click, I got my dashboard which is last 15 minutes and update time is 5 seconds, right? So now I have my dashboard. Now move to the next step which is create basic web application on my first VM. So I got each and everything here, uh, memory, input, output, network traffic, disk utilization, everything is here, perfect. So I'll go back on my first VM here and uh, let me create a basic web server 
So I need to install the package first. You can go with yum or dnf2 to install the package in Linux, in Red Hat Linux. So yum install httpd. Okay, it's already there. Let me enable the services. Enable httpd hyphen hyphen now. Now go to the where wstml. This is the document root of web, web server. And here I need to create a basic web server, right? So the file name is index.html and I need to write down something here. So for time saving purpose, I have write down the HTML content in my notepad. Let it be copied from there and paste it here. So here you can see I have HTML and body and then welcome to my basic web server. This is the demo web page where we will be learning to embed it Grafana dashboard into the web application. And I close the body HTML and header, right? So let it be saved and quit. And now if I go back on the uh, my console, if I tap only the IP address 192.150.128, uh, you can see I'm accessing my web page, right? So it's reflecting here. So now move to the next step, which is adding embedded code in our website. So for adding embedded code in our website, we need to modify our etc grafana grafana.ini file first, right? So let's update the some entry in grafana.ini on my first machine. So here, where the grafana is there, I'll move over and now etc grafana grafana grafana.ini file. Perfect. So I need to modify some lines. So let me move to the line number 334. Yeah, here it is. So set to true if you want to allow browser to render the Grafana iframe, right? So let it be allow first. Allow embedding, say true. T R U E true. Okay, let's say. Now move to the enable the anonymous access. So for anonymous access, I'll move to the line number 557. Enables false. I need to make it true. So T R U E true perfect give the organization name it could be anything i'll go with the default one and the role i'll go with the viewer perfect so these are the sufficient for this demonstration let it be save and restart the, do not forget to restart the grafana services because i have modified the configuration file so grafana grafana services okay let it be complete done now time to check the status so status yeah it is active running and enabled perfect now back to the grafana console so i'm here let it be refresh or reload perfect okay everything is perfect so now what we need to do we need to copy embedded code from grafana panel so steps to copy the embedded code from grafana panel is pretty very easy we have to click on the title of the Grafana panel, right? So these are the small panels, you can see that. And uh, we click on share and then we can share that one. So let me go for the RAM and CPU panel, right? So I'll go with the CPU busy. Okay, go to the share. Here you find out and number methods are there, link, snapshot and public dashboard, but I go with the, I am currently I'm focused on the embedded, right? So I need to copy this entire code and paste it into the my index.html. So first of all, I just uh, I'm I'm going to copy this file. So currently I'm disable the uh, current title range time range sorry so that it will be dynamically updated. Now let it be copy this URL and I am back on my vim index.html and I'll paste it paste it here. Okay. insert paste okay let's move for this. let's follow the same procedure for the uh, ram so click on the ram used click on the share embed it disable this one copy the clipboard close back and paste it perfect so now uh, we can set the height and width as per our requirement so this is the width is 450 and height is 200 but you can you can uh, you can set it as per your requirement I'll go with the default one right now save and quit and time to final check let's reload our web page and we'll see our RAM and CPU panel over here right if everything is okay so I'm here 
let me reload loading grafana perfect wow very good cpu busy ram used you can see that right so here you can see cpu and ram utilization and let's uh, if you want to check see 3.2 percent and 27.7 so 27.7 okay see 0.5 right it's automatically update also so if you uh, so if uh, let's virtually increase the cpu load into the second vm by using devnel command and you will get the reflection here right so i am back on my second vm let me try to log in let me try to run increase yes say dev null one two three four okay i repeat it four times so if i go with the top command yeah these four processes are running so now if i go back here you will see the reflection there right cpu and ram utilization 7.5 see 63.6 is updated so if i go back here it will be reflect 63.6 right ram uses 27.8 if I go back here, 27.8. So this you can see that it's reflecting here, right? Even if I kill all the process, uh, yeah, see it's hundred percent utilization. So let me kill, kill all. Say yes. I kill all the process. See, soon it will free. So just wait for five seconds. I'm not going to reload or restart or refresh this page. It will be automatically reflect, right? 27.9 I'm here currently it is 100% here 15.8 let it be check over there see 15.8 right so you can see it's shows update result so guys this is how we can embed it grafana dashboard into the web application and finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learn new things soon I will come up with another interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something else please reach out to my social media link which is mentioned in the description and if you like this video, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.